activate your spiritual body. See that the the teaching that goes out there, not the teaching, but the you know the words, the suggestions, the the facts. Uh, is that this is the only body you have? And then when it's gone, it's gone. You're finished. This is it. You're over. And so people just, well, I guess this is the way it is. Everybody else does this. I might as well do this and agree with this too. And this is how it's going. I got to survive, you know. I got I to gotta survive. First of all, you can't die. So forget survival. You mean the body needs to survive. Well, you need to maintain the body for in a good state of health and vitality for as long as this is something that you're doing either choosing or the divine whatever maybe it's uncharted waters my dear so to activate your spiritual body you have to first of all know you have a spiritual body and it doesn't have a solid form like this an a dense form because it's not of this it's not a dimension it's not like that it's who you are and how that is it's it's a state of being and you have your own divine personality character not we want to say well you know it, it, people say well when you leave your body and after that and you get to who you are you lose all no you lose the faults the real is what appears and they try and say all there is is the faults and when it's gone there you're, you're gone you're, there's nothing more there you know when you when you drop the faults, that means the concepts and beliefs, uh, but actually are state centered in your in your beingness as who you are. You have a spiritual body, and it's been dormant. See, most every you know, and I told you I did see my spiritual body once, and it's so beautiful. And I could say, well, that if that can't be just me, I mean, it's got to be everybody. Okay. And it has to be a state that's always there. It's nothing that's, it's new. It's, it's always there. And then what I started doing is activate by being now the way you would be in the purely spiritual domain where there is no birth or death. And there are no lessons to be learned. And this is what happens is it gets people always reincarnating that you're going to have more lessons. Well, because the material world in especially in the silicon computer age is always about gathering more information and knowledge it was universities that did that before it was memory you know it was all of this kind of thing and then to um keep and then to to, to then live in the memory so that also instead of being in the now you're going into your own library of whatever past experience either you had or somebody implanted said you had or you got from a movie or somewhere else you you're you're playing in that realm so it's 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 um we're at we're what we're doing then is maintaining the false reality that when we're activating the spiritual body that means you're being who you are that means you're allowing your real self to be expressing you're um you're not affirming illness and disease you're not living in a diseased environment you are uh maintaining the body uh uh as you would be say maintaining a, a a divine temple because it's a place in which you were what you're inhabiting right now or expressing through or how, wh whatever that may be so but who you are is a constant and by opening yourself to creativity by when you say oh I, that's not possible I don't know how to do it well you haven't even started to do it how do you know you can't do it you haven't even gone over there and done one thing people say oh I'd love to play the piano but I can't what do you mean you can't you don't want to I don't care but if you want to you could well I don't know well then then you have doubt right but how do you get you still don't want to do it and if you really want to do something you go and do it and what you if so what we what for me i'm just sharing what works for me and what i've been working on is by recognizing myself as who i am and somehow i am permeating this physical incarnation that they say one day will you know will be you know burned on on the pyre funeral pyre however that is 
and uh, fine or they could be buried in the ground for the creatures to eat or whatever because that's that's what what it does that's that's what happens but that does not kill me and that does not kill my spiritual body and I don't have to have the mental body the faults that is in the astral plane that I keep that particular identity and my also consciousness fixated also on the material realm of a place to go back to or as a place that is like the all, all that exists so as we use this to, the time game and the language and such being able to to read and to study and to get knowledge and then to apply it to actually activate that and someone gave me a bit of knowledge years ago was, as so many have, but something that all stuck with me said that, you know, each moment is a fresh start. It's a be, it's a begin. It really is. And in this moment, you don't have to drag anything from the past. You don't want to drag it. And some say, well, you know, you have to remember it. Not really. You have wisdom. Wisdom is who we are. And when we rely on the mind and that mental logic or material logic and all of this to make our decisions and our choices, what we're honoring is, is an effect, is in effect, effect, an effect, an effect that is a, a concept, an expression, a thought, an idea, something like that, when the real deal is us. And that does not mean us with the, and then we tend to want to hold on to the physical manifestation of the physical reality, the physical relationships, the physical car, house, stuff. You know, my stuff. I think I told you I went to a yard sale and went in this one room and I op there was this box of old um, beautiful linens that were embroidered. I could feel the presence of the lady who'd left her body in the room. It was so upset people were in her stuff. I said, honey... I know you're here. I know your stuff's wonderful. I'm not touching it. I just want you to know how beautiful it is, but you know, you have left your body. It's called people call it dead, but you have left your body. So you might as well realize that. And I just want you to know I acknowledge you for your beautiful handiwork. You know, so do that. But hey, you just do what you do when you get when you, you'll know when you know. So how you activate your spiritual body is um by knowing you have one, it's eternal, and the there it's being basically covered by layers of of, of uh, ignorance. And how we cut through that is you can never just you can go step by step trying to dig yourself out of a hole. You know how to get out of the hole? Be out of it. And you know how you we talked before. How you how you win the game is don't play. You see. And when you do that, you actually can play and but you're not in the game of winners and losers. And and so you wanna feel how you'd feel when you're in your spiritual body. And then act that way and feel that way and read about that way and build that and let your real self, the kindness, the love, the fun, the joy, the being, and and though and little by little and as fast as you can, you say you're letting go of all that old stuff that isn't you at all, never was, and who's there? The beautiful you. So be you to the full. Is the lesson of the day. <laughs>